What's up YouTube, it's MurphyD55 coming to you with another Madden 22 video and today is going to be part 6 of my Panini Prestige Pack and Play series uh, where I rip IRL packs uh, out of this box right here and try to build a Mutt roster fit for Weekend League. So this is going to be the final team building episode and then this weekend uh, I'm going to go into Weekend League with this squad that I built and get some gameplay for you guys and see how this team stacks up against some of the best competition on Madden in June. So let's get right into it. I got the first of two packs here that I'm going to rip through. So let's open this bad boy up and see if we can get anything good here. So we're going to split the deck for a little bit of variety's sake and start pulling these bad boys right about now. So the first one's an interesting looking card here. So we've got a Josh Jacobs powerhouse card. So this one looks like it's part of some sort of a, an exclusive type set for the Panini, Panini Prestige. Um, Josh Jacobs could factor in as a power back for us. We already have two running backs on the team. I'm a pretty pass-happy guy, so we will see if he gets onto the roster here. And now we've got Tyson Campbell, cornerback for the Jacksonville Jaguars here. It looks like he's in his college uniform, so we do need a third slot cornerback. Maybe this could be our guy. I'll check out some of the cards that he has in Mutt, see if there's anything that could play for us um, on this team. And next up, we got Jared Goff. Yeah, this guy's not coming anywhere near my team representing the Detroit Lions. Jared Goof, I like to call him. Uh, we'll put him in the discard pile over this way. Now, on to the next one. It looks like we've got a, ooh, a defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence for the Cowboys. So Demarcus Lawrence, definitely a beast on the end. Uh, we already have a pretty good D-line here, but I'll look at some of his cards, see if he has anything that's an upgrade over either Quiddy Pay um, or uh, who else do we have on the other side of the end? I think we, we put uh, Chandler. We put... Uh, I think we put Chandler Jones on one side. Um, so now we've got another wide receiver. We've got Tyler Boyd from the uh, from the Cincinnati Bengals here. Uh, had a good performance in the Super Bowl and on their playoff run. Um, we already have three really solid wide receivers, 98 and above, so I don't think he's going to factor in uh, other than uh, potentially uh, special teams in depth. All right, we'll get rid of this uh, barcode over here. Next up, it looks like we've got uh, Joe Schobert. I think he's a middle linebacker. Is that correct for the Jacksonville Jaguars? All right, so again, we already have a pretty deep linebacker group. Don't see him factoring in. We still need to pull um, some safeties. I really hope that we get at least one safety in these last few packs here. And right on cue, Antoine Winfield Jr. from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This looks like he's definitely going to be the, uh, one of our safeties on the team. Uh, could even potentially be a user. He's a little bit shorter, um, but I was a big fan of Antoine Winfield Sr. when he played for the Minnesota Vikings for all those years. So finally, another safety. That's a W. We have one strong safety and one free safety on the team now. And look at this, guys. We got ourselves a George Kittle tight end. He might be the best of the bunch. We did pick up Robert Wood's uh, tight end card uh, last week, but we do have Kittle powered up to a 98 overall, so he could definitely play on this team. Uh, we'll look and see how much his 98 overall card costs and see if we can add him into the power-up. So that's a huge W right there. Now, moving on to the second pack over here, guys. Let's break the seal on this one. Open her up. Still wouldn't mind seeing another cornerback, another safety. Uh, and we don't have any defensive tackles so far either. So look at this. We get a duplicate card here, guys. We have another Aaron Rodgers. He's already the starting quarterback on my team. We're using his 92 overall card. Uh, really solid. But again, that's a duplicate. We'll give that away to somebody. And here we got an Anthony Barr outside linebacker card. I know he does have a really good card in the game right now, so he could potentially factor into this roster. We love having Vikings players on the team, um, so it might be a good excuse to try and get him on the field for our weekend league. Now, here we have Odell Beckham Jr., who's got a few good cards in the game, including some out-of-position ones. So I'm going to look at maybe his out-of-position cards. I think he might have a safety card in the game from that Zero Chill promo, but definitely I think we're going to find a way to feature him on this team. Uh, rumor out today that he might be returning to the Cleveland Browns uh, with their new quarterback. And this one looks pretty cool. This is like a holographic, a season's greetings card, Kadarius Tony. Now, I believe that's the rookie receiver for the, for the Giants here. This is a rookie card as well. So this is a holiday-themed one. It's him in his Florida Gators uniform. Definitely uh, one of the cooler cards that I've pulled here. I'll see if it's worth anything. But um, I, I think Tony's gotten a couple cards in the game this year. So I'll have to do some research on mutt.gg and see what comes up there. And we have another. Oh, let's go. Penny Sewell. I think he recently got a uh, either a combine card or, or something like that or a draft card. So we got a, a, another tackle here to plug in opposite uh, Laramie Tunsil. Uh, definitely a solid one there. That's a rookie card, too. He was really highly touted um, coming out of the draft. 
And now we got a Clyde Edwards Hilaire, another running back here, a good third down type back, but I think uh, Alvin Kamara is going to be a better option than him for the team. Um, but definitely a good player for the Chiefs there. And look at this, guys. The safeties come fast and furious. We did get three safeties. We needed three. We got three. Here we have Buda Baker, who has a couple good cards, um, including at least a 95 overall. So we're definitely going to pick him up for the squad um, so I can have a free safety, strong safety, and user and actually compete in this weekend league. I'm getting excited, and I do have the strat cards to give him a plus two speed boost as well. And finally, guys, we have C.D. Lamb. Um, for the Dallas Cowboys, uh, I was going to say this is a rookie car, but it's actually his second season. Um, another future stud. Uh, really like what he was able to do against my Vikings. Sadly, he scored a two touchdowns, I think, when we played them this year. Um, but overall, guys, really happy with this. We're going to have to plug in some really low overall defensive tackles to fill out our roster. Uh, but I'm super happy that we've gotten uh, three safeties now on the team, as well as a couple other weapons. We'll look into Odell Beckham's card, too, see if he has any cool out-of-position ones that we can work into our roster. All right, guys, so I just finished ripping those packs, and I went out to the store and bought a couple of these uh, new cards to put on the team here. So we'll take a quick look. One of the cards we picked up was a dominant right tackle. That'll help us out in the run game for sure. We picked up Penny Sewell. Um, so I'm going to show you guys his attributes here. So he's got 96 strength, uh, 96 pass blocking, 98 run blocking. So he's a beast in the run game. Definitely uh, excited to get some protection on the right side as well as a, uh, a guy who can kind of create gaps and seal the edge off uh, when we're running stretch plays. Uh, and we also added, we were able to kind of downgrade Robert Woods. We put him to fullback uh, because we picked up George Kittle. So I went out and bought his 98 overall card, added it to the power up that already existed for me. So it'll be two, two, two times Niners chems uh, for me when I use it on my regular squad here. But he's got 94 speed, um, 98 catching. Uh, actually, that's all boosted up. It'll, it'll get 96 speed when I put the uh, strat cards on him there. And 91 run blocking, which is really solid. Six foot four. He's going to be a beast for me in the pass game. Uh, definitely look at him uh, to be one of the primary uh, pass catchers for this offense. So you can see here I still have a few empty spots on offense at left guard, center, and right guard. But we'll fill those in with 80 overall core elites uh, to round out the roster. Now on the defensive side, we got some much needed help in the secondary out of these two packs that we ripped today. So we picked up Antoine Winfield Jr., at free safety, so I'm going to show you guys his stats. I don't think the strat cards are activated yet, but uh, he has 95 speed. Um, he also has 96 zone coverage, which is really solid. 91 hit power is not great. 5 foot 9 is not great, um, but this card actually kind of balls out, so I'm excited to use him on the field and get a little bit of uh, a little bit of help in the uh, pass defense uh, game there. Um, Jamal Adams is going to be our stra starting strong safety, and Buda Baker is going to be our sub linebacker at a 335 wide. Uh, so take a look at his stats over here. He's a 98 overall with chems powered up. Uh, 98 speed, which is really good. Uh, 96 zone coverage is solid. 94 hit power, decent. And uh, five foot ten. obviously we prefer the taller players. Um, but Jamal Adams is only like 94 speed. So I think we'll take a 98 speed user over 94 speed any day. This is his, uh, his Easter promo card. So overall, guys, uh, you can see here there's a few spots that we didn't pull any cards, believe it or not. Um, Tyson Campbell didn't seem to have a good card in the game uh, or any card at all when I looked in the auction house. And we don't have a defensive tackle, so these will be all 80 overall core elites. The 80 overall core elite cornerback might hurt us in the past game for sure since we always have three cornerbacks on the field. Um, but overall, this, uh, this roster has definitely rounded out nicely. Um, for the last video, guys, it'll be mostly gameplay, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me build this uh, roster with IRL packs. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. So that wraps it up for the team building portion of the Panini Prestige Pack and Play series. I've had a blast building this squad, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me rip packs and put them into a mutt team. Uh, I'm excited, guys. This weekend, I'm going to go out and record some gameplay for you in Weekend League, uh, and we'll see how this roster does. I'm going to uh, plug in a couple more core elites to round out the roster. But overall, guys, the team has come together nicely. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching, for commenting on these videos. If you want your comment to be featured, guys, make sure you leave it. The best comment always gets featured at the beginning of the next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that, guys. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like, and drop me a comment.